celebrating a birthday party and uh, you've launched a new website. We, we were talking yeah. to you both, weren't we, before about, uh, you know, how, how, how things can evolve and adapt and, and how people can come to Portugal still and enjoy the great uh, quality of life and, and many other features that uh, Anna was talking about. Um, you have this. I mean, is, is, is this the right time to talk about it or would you just like to go sure. and lie down now? Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm like an autodrive, so I, I'm sure I can get through. You it, are. You are. Uh, AI, uh, you've nothing to fear from AI. You are like a machine yourself <laughs> in this regard, aren't you? Keep working. And keep coming up with that. Yeah. No, we launched our new um, D2 visa website and nice. um, basically explains everything about the D2 yeah. and how it works. And um, sort of just takes people step by step. There's 12 steps. Yeah. Sort of brings them through the 12 steps to get through the whole scenario. Uh -huh. um, but tells them what's involved, but basically we take uh, all the, um, the hassle out of it. Um, so we've, we've joined up with a law firm. A county firm and we have an administrational team that basically takes everything so basically if you decide you want to do it they just take over they tell you what to do and they do your documents uh obviously it's a little bit different um than golden visa or even d7 mm. there's an investment element involved and so on uh, and a business plan etc but they take over everything for you and uh, but all information is there so it's d uh, d2 visa or two d2 visa portugal Dot com. Yep, got that. Now that you have a, 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 a sort of a, a, an ebook as well, it has all the information there as well. Very good. I mean, there's a lot of information uh, here on the on the screen, and uh, like you say, you can uh, download an ebook as well. It tells you everything that's required, and the context for this, I think, is very interesting because whilst people are have been panicking about the golden visa, been panicking about the NHR, yeah, so much of the emphasis has been on how things are shrinking. And you know the benefits seem to be disappearing. Um, you're you're approaching this as 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 we might expect from a, an entrepreneurial and innovative point of view. Uh, you're looking at residency through investment. This isn't yeah. this isn't about retiring, is it? And having a quiet no. life and worrying about how far your money's going to go. This is for people no. who want to come here and invest in the country and create a residency for themselves in the process. The rules, actually, the rules are, are very very similar uh, with regards to D7 and D2. The big yep. difference is what you qualify, how you qualify. That's it. But the actual, the rules um, around the actual visa are the same. So in other words, how long, how long you should stay here, etc. But the, the big difference, I suppose, with the D2 visa is that if for, and this is why most people like sort of investors will do it. If you cannot stay in Portugal for like it's two and a half months um, for commercial reasons, because you have to be out of the country. You don't have to. So once you can provide a good reason to say that, look, I can't stay and live in Portugal for two and a half months, it gives them um, a get out of jail clause, if you like. So they don't have to. So you, like uh, the big the re big reason the Golden Visa was so successful was it was very non-intrusive into somebody's life. So they came, they did their investment, they went away, they came back 14 days every two years, which is why it was so, so successful, because not everybody wanted to actually or was able to move here at that given time. D2 actually more or less is the same. Um, most people doing the D7 are moving here because they're moving here and they want to become tax residents, etc., and take advantage of the uh, NHR and so on. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. D2 is, is still basically down to gaining residency for family because you can have complete family re reunification as well yeah. uh, through the D2 and the D7, of course, but, by, but through the D2 as well. So yeah. it's much cheaper than what the golden visa was. And actually, um, what we've tried to do is we've tried to take as much of the sort of lifting out of it that the law firm takes care of everything. And it's much, much cheaper than what the, I think it's like 9,000 euros for everything. And that includes all the taxes, the fees, government fees, legal fees, accountancy, even for the first year for the company set up, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. um, it's... I think it's sort of it's like a one-stop shop, basically, for people who decide to do it. My side of it really is the investing side of it. So what I've done is I've created um, either multiple purchase units, SPVs, special purpose vehicles for the guards to people to invest into, typically doubling their equity over every three years. Well, okay, excellent stuff. Lovely to hear that. And how exciting as well, while so much of the talk is about, you know, oh, what's, you know, what's going, what are we missing? Things are getting worse. Here, here we have a, um, an expanded view of moving to Portugal, getting involved in the economy and investing here. 
uh, and those are the key benefits on the screen entrepreneurial opportunities for those who like that sort of thing investment in the portuguese economy very important uh, yeah. and people are still coming right bobby despite how the government yeah. might be trying to put them off they're still coming and they want to invest in this wonderful country yeah i hope to about a thousand of them like next year to be honest that's my target is 1000 uh, d2s next year wow so, that's a lot yeah. of investment in the country with an average with an average of investment probably around three to four hundred thousand right that should definitely give you a christmas card from a, the new prime minister you well, would think <laughs> you would <laughs> say would you <laughs> whoever or a that's ticket <laughs> <laughs> so investment in the economy i love love the cut of your jib here the the excitement and the vibrancy of this rather than the worry and the anxiety that there's been so much of in the last few months uh, residents in portugal of course is part of it renewable status family reuni reunification and you're not just getting portugal are you you're getting access to the whole schengen area and that's an expanding pie as well that's going to get bigger not smaller i think well, I think actually that's why a lot of people did the golden visa. And the, the, the big difference between the D7 and the golden visa, say, slash D2, was the fact that um, the D7 are people who were looking to move to Portugal. Mm -hmm. The golden visa, I would say 90% of the people who did it did not actually particularly need to want to, to move to Portugal. They did it as a plan B to give their family options, their kids yeah. options. Mm -hmm. to get a eventually a, a citizenship a european citizenship that gave them access to europe not just portugal because um you know they wanted better school or educational options compared to the world they wanted better job uh, options worldwide because once you have a european passport it not just opens up europe it opens up everything it opens up the us it opens up a lot more options than say if you had an indian passport for example for sure. so so I think most people did it to give options rather than they wanted to actually live here. So what they done was they, they left their money here, they invested here, and further investment in return, they and following the rules, they eventually reached citizenship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible, incredible. So are you a thousand of these you're looking at, and with yeah. a fairly significant investment, that's going to be a big difference um for the for the economy and the the, the dynamics really of, of this culture and this society in this country so i'm actually you, very very curious to see how the immigration trend goes because up until this year it has been spiking like this mm -hmm. and i i don't know if it's going to go down it may go like you know stabilize but i don't think it's going to go down honestly uh, immigration across the world is it's a thing people are moving what they're looking for is what have you got to offer over somebody else? So, like, people seem to forget that, like, it's not just Portugal um, looking for immigrants. Everybody is looking for the investor, and there's investors looking for options. So, Spain has them, Greece has them, Cyprus has them, uh, Ireland have them, the UK have them. So, everybody is looking for a particular type of investor and, or, or immigrant. And what they're looking for is either people who are, are, are well trained, highly trained, well educated, or people that have money and that they can invest into their economies, either by bringing and adding to the workforce or bringing and adding money uh, to the economy. Yeah. So what I think we are very competitive in is that what we offer more than most places is, as like you said, security um, being the first thing. Um, the climate, the lifestyle, the weather, the European passport is relatively easy after the five years of the residency, the family reunification, so I think we actually have one of the most attractive um, residency programs out there. And when the Golden Visa went away, everyone was sort of going, oh, Christ, what are we going to do now? But yeah. this D2 visa thing was here long before the Golden Visa. And As it's, it's not suggests, right? It's D2, isn't it? It's, it's the yeah. second of the visas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't, I, I never knew about it. I told you this before. I didn't know about it until the Golden Visa thing went away. And I had a friend who was doing it, and he was doing it quite successfully. So I said, yeah, that'll work for me. And it works for my yes. clients. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. And, and, and I started, you know, the, the website only went live, I think, yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday. You know, um, it was on purpose. <laughs> Happy birthday, yes. 